know, Thanksgiving is a lot closer than you think, but thanks to my friends here, you don't even have to be stressed. So before the break, we were doing collard greens. Yes. Okay, so tell me where we are. We, we did some of this during the break. Yes. So as you can see, we put our collard greens in the pot, mm -hmm. our onions, all of that is going to simmer in there for okay. about an hour. For an hour. Okay. Yes. But now you assured me that this is going to make it taste just as good, but no meat. With no meat. Okay. All and right. before you put your collars in there, taste your water. Okay. If your water doesn't taste good, that's how your collard greens going to taste. Okay. All right. I'll let you know about that. I'll let you know in just a few minutes. Okay. Mac and cheese. Yes. So we're working on our mac and cheese here. Mm -hmm. um, during the break, we boiled uh, our water. We strained out our water. Now we got our mac and cheese. We're okay. about to um, add our cheese to it. Okay. We got our cheese. We got our, our milk. Now, is that like cheddar cheese? Right. So we actually use three cheeses, um, a three cheese blend for our mac and cheese. We okay. got cheddar cheese. We got Monte Jack cheese. Okay. And we got an, 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 um, an American cheese. Okay. And um, we're, we're going to add our milk. Mm -hmm. And also, again, the mac and cheese, cook it al dente. Al dente. Al dente. Oh, don't okay. Want so it you don't mushy. want it mushy. No. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, I see. Because you're going to boil it, and then you're going to put it in the oven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So this is our seasoning salt. Is that? It's, it's a must for our mac and cheese. Seasoning yeah. salt. Huh. Yeah. Who knew? Some black pepper. Yep. And now we're going to give this mac and cheese a nice little stir, and we're going to throw it in the oven. Okay. To bake it. And how, about how long do you let it bake? So. I always bake my mac and cheese for 25 minutes. Okay. And uh, I bake it at 350 degrees. Uh huh. And uh, it should be ready, f nice and crispy. Okay. All right. And <laughs> you got a sneak preview in there, one, yep. right? Yep. Okay. I'm about let's to take show. A, let's take a look at one that's already done. Okay. Yeah, we did. We cheated a little bit. There's one in the oven already. We did cheat. Look at you. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, golden. Yeah. Beautiful. And I was going to say, is that hot? Can you just tip that up a little bit for the camera? Yeah, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Golden brown. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right, let's move on. Yes. The next thing we're going to make is you can't have Thanksgiving without peach cobbler. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we gonna, we're going to talk through the yam, candy oh, yeah, yams, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. We're going to talk through the yams. The yam is a big staple at the restaurant. Customers love our yam. Okay. And typically what we do is we cut our yam really non-traditional. We dice them. Uh-huh. And that's it. That's it? That's it. Okay. You just cut all through uh -huh. like that. Okay. So and they're really like big chunks. Big really big chunks. Okay. All right. And we make, we, you put that those chunks in the pan. Mm -hmm. In the pan. And you mix it with, we have our house mix. Okay. And what's in that hot mix? Go for it. Our house mix is uh, uh, made up of brown sugar. It's mm -hmm. made up of some nutmeg, um, cinnamon, of course, and some allspice. Yes. A nice blend. Allspice. Yes. Okay. So you put the the pieces in a pan. Yes. With this, with the sugar mix. Mix it all in it. Make uh -huh. sure every piece of the yam get is covered. It's covered. covered. Uh -huh. And don't forget your butter. Don't forget the butter. Ah, okay. Can't forget the butter. I can hear my grandmother butter. and my auntie. You gotta put that butter in there. And the end product, I'm gonna show you later. It's okay. To the iPhone. But wait a minute, isn't there a, what is that? Does this go in there? Yes. yes. Okay, all right. Well, this is our house. Our Again, house mix. Our house mix. Has oh, vanilla. Ooh, okay. A couple of more secrets in it. Mm -hmm. um, we have a. I was gonna say, yeah, you can't tell everything. You can't no, you tell can't them everything. everything. Okay. So yeah. we have vanilla. We also have um, a natural food coloring. We don't use yellow food coloring because uh, we have people that are vegans. So we have our own natural food coloring. But color. you could. The mm -hmm. people that are vegan that do use the food coloring, but if you don't want to, you, don't have you to. could use something else. Okay. And we, we have our vanilla. And this is our mix that we make here at Cornbread. Okay, so you put that all in the pan, and then that's what, like about 45 minutes? 45 an hour? minutes to an hour. Okay. You know, um, you want to bake them at 350 degrees. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. <sighs> yeah, listen to you all. You all actually make, make me think I can do this. Yes, <laughs> you could. You can. Anyone can cook this food. Any, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. And your favorite mm -hmm. blend is the peach cobbler. Yes, ma'am. See this beauty? Beautiful peach cobbler. Go ahead, let's take it away. All right. So, again, you need your butter for gotta your peach. You gotta have your butter. It is the holiday. It is the holiday. You need your butter for your peach cobbler. Um, we also use um, our mix that we have for our yams. We also use it for our peach cobbler, mm -hmm. but we also have a couple of more ingredients that we okay. that we add to our peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, we're gonna dump these peaches in here. 
Okay, so you've melted the butter. We have melted our butter. Mm, now we're gonna mm, mm. put our peaches in. We're gonna we're gonna add our mix to it. Okay. And now so you actually kind of cooked the peaches before you baked yes. them. Oh, who knew? Yeah, I guess I would have had to have made peach cobbler to know that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you let this bad boy sit there for good. 15 minutes. You don't okay. want to overcook it because uh -huh. then your peaches are going to, they're going to be too mushy. Too mushy. Yes. Okay. And as that is cooking, what you want to do is you want to start working on your dough uh -huh. for your peach cobbler. Okay. You really want to smooth this all the way out. Uh -huh. And if you go in our restaurant, our peach cobbler have two crusts. Right. We have one on the bottom and actually we have three crusts. We have one on the bottom, one on the top, and we give you our house made crunchies. I remember that. You want to I remember the We have some for you yeah. here tonight. <laughs> so you put you put that on the bottom of your pan. Mm -hmm. You pour that in there, and what you have here is this beautiful thing here. <sighs> beautiful peach cobbler. So wait, so that's like homemade dough. That's it's not homemade. like that's not like the dough that you buy and just. That. No, you could do both. Okay. You could do both. Okay. Some right. you I'm know. Just asking I for a friend, like yes. they say. <laughs> you could do asking both. for a friend. <laughs> you could absolutely do both. Nothing okay. wrong with it. But once yeah. I've done this, I don't have to do anything else with the peaches. I just need the dough and the peaches. Yes. And yes. And an oven. And an oven. Don't forget the oven. All right. So we've made a Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. So now we get to eat it. Yes, we do. The Guess the what? Best part. We're gonna That's plate it all up and come right back. Don't go away when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues. It's that time. We'll be right back.